Billy, this is the last date on the tour. It's been it a pleasure. This is actually ended in our, in our hometown. In our hometown, so you gotta love it. You know, people really came out on Monday. When you say, I think it was probably the most inductees into the Gillette Hall of Fame ever. It's very true. <laughs> this is the end of the MVP Gillette Fusion Tour, and it has been fantastic. Been we did DC, we did Philadelphia, New York, Chicago, and we're ending right here in, 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 in Atlanta. And uh, You'll see the spread a little later. You can look at the background. There's some massages going on. We got the red carpet and the bar massage. Enough TV screens. You look like it look like athlete's foot or yeah. some, or the sport, or the Actually, one of the flyest barber yes. shops I've ever seen. Honestly. And more importantly, they have an incredible mission. Their goal is really to train barbers and train, train African American men and women how to own their own business. And so that's why we draw this arena for this particular city. And as you know, it starts when they're young and they raise and cut their hair till they go to college and on and on and on. So the cornerstone of the neighborhood is the barbershop. So. Okay, so I have a quick question for both of you. PFD, have either one of you ever suffered from it? Pseudophilicolitis. Uh, I, I was actually raised and taught not to use a razor, so I've, I've never, I've never experienced it. Really? And if I do see something coming and it's an ingrown hair, my mama told me to get the tweezers and just yank that joint on out. Ow! I have. My father, you know, I grew up watching him shave, and so he taught me how to shave. That's a trial and error process. So, so I have suffered from it before, and, you know, getting it right in these little areas right here, and it's, you know, put it like this. If a lady has some, I don't want to hear her explaining what it is. You feel me? So it's not a good thing. Period. I think they had different skin back in the day too, like the, our grandfathers and even fathers, they could shave and put the razors, they could put soap on their face and just go on and get it done. I think our faces are a little more sensitive than theirs were. Well, you know, and, and plus the, the, the utensils they were using, it's just the technology just wasn't there really. You know, we have too many things to kind of spoil us too. They didn't have as many facial products. That's, that's a good point. They wash their faces and yeah, put some on Yeah, exactly. They, 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 they got some dial and just kept right. moving. You know, we got all kind of exfoliations. Yeah, we get some manicures and pedicures and facials. You know what I'm talking about? Real players. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Well, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate your time. Thank you were you. very animated. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Try to uh, try to beat punch. Off chain. Off chain. Thank you very much.